Hello there, Internet. My name is Tommy, the Digital Creation Specialist over at the Bathurst Clark Resource Library. Today, we're here with another Steam video, and we're going to be taking an in-depth look at a new kind of coding block in Scratch. In the past, some of my examples have included ways to take information from the user, whether they press a key or input an answer, and have the program react to it in some, in some way. These are known as taking user input. And what we're looking at today are the blocks in Scratch that let us take user input and have the program react to it. So you'll remember in my previous videos, I talked about the basic pattern of computer coding, where it generally follows a pattern of if this, then that. Taking user input sort of works the same way. It becomes if I press the space bar, then my character will jump. Or if the user types in an answer, then I will judge to see if it's, a, it's correct and then give a proper response. So let's hop on over to Scratch and take a look at some of these cool little blocks. Okay, so here's some of the blocks we're going to be looking at today. So in the top left-hand corner is an event block. So when the space key is pressed, do the code that follows it. That'll be under the events tab, and we can change that key to be whatever we like it to be. Beneath that, we've got the ask block. This right here will have the cat ask you, what's your name? And then wait for a response after a little bar appears for the user to type something in. These are also from the same area. These are all from the sensing tab. So you can see these are shaped a little bit differently because these are not blocks on their own. They actually fit inside an if statement, so a conditional statement. So if it's touching the mouse pointer, then you'll do something. The mouse being a bit of user input because it'll understand where the mouse is on the screen. If a space key is pressed or any other key we'd like, then do the following code. And the last little bit is from the motion tab. This one, these ones have built in user input. So pointing towards the mouse pointer or gliding towards the mouse pointer. Okay, and here's a quick little program where when I press the space key, the cat will then move for one second towards wherever my mouse is on the screen. If touching the mouse pointer, so if the mouse, the cat catches the mouse, then it'll say, I caught you. Let's test it out. There you go. Whereas if I he doesn't catch the mouse, he won't say a thing. And there we have it, folks. That is how you work with user inputs. There's a lot of different ways we can sense what the user does, and this is only just scratching the surface of what the program can do. So if you want to show us what you have done with Scratch, I would love to see them. So don't forget to like and share this video and share us some of the really cool programs you've been making with hashtag VPL at home. Now, I have a very exciting announcement to make. The Vaughn Public Libraries is going to be launching a virtual science fair. So I want you guys to take all that creative genius you got bottled up inside you and join the event. And for more information, check us out at vonpl.info slash science fair. Again, that is the virtual science fair for Vaughn Public Libraries at vonpl.info slash science fair. Okay, everyone, until next time, happy coding. Bye-bye.